Okay, this experiment involves using two magnesium rods and two graphite rods. Uh, currently at the south end, I have one magnesium rod about three inches into ground. We're coming down. Here we have a graphite rod in the ground. Getting a little bit deeper, coming on over. We've got one more magnesium rod and I've got a jumper set up here. So I'm jumpering between the graphite, center graphite, center magnesium, going over, and we have the final graphite rod right here. We're orientated approximately north, a little bit offline, and there's the compass porting, running towards north. Now, right now, the multimeter is currently set up for reading a single rod. Okay, a single rod voltage. We're now going to go ahead and move jumper, and we're going to jump her in the full pack. And moving the jumper here over to this one. Now we're going from end to end. We have a measurement of probably 1.785 volts. We're going to reconfigure the meter to go into milliamps. This way. This is our current reading between the full rod of array. It's pretty stable, yeah, just a hair less than 3 milliamps. Okay, we're going to go ahead and switch this into single single pair and go back disconnect and go into the single jumper here let's go back to the meter and look and our current has changed a little bit on account of our potential and we're going to go ahead and go ahead and hook it back up full range. This is not the most ideal setup in the world. Okay, we are getting lost in the meter connections. Okay, I'm going to switch and do a resistance measurement now. Configuring the meter. Let's read ohms. There we got a slightly charging value as it's charging up. We got a little bit of an RC curve going on. Let's switch the meter back down to volt and. and here we are. This could be from just bad connection. Let's go take a look at that. We do indeed. We might have the world's best connection here. It's oxidized battery cables. Not the best. We'll go and assume. That is what we're going to get for a measurement. Let's go in and switch to AC. AC, we're showing a little voltage on the AC scale. Shift the frequency. There's no evidence of any type of sinusoidal waveform. We'll go back to DC. And once again, we're back to our stable voltage range. That's it for this particular trial.